Welcome back friends to another technical video on your Tech Handy channel. Please do like, subscribe and hit bell icon to support our efforts. In this video I will demonstrate, how you can create your own Kali Linux virtual machine in VMware Workstation with just few simple steps. You can download the VMware image of the latest version of Kali Linux from the official website of Kali Linux, Kali.org, and import it on VMware Workstation Pro very easily. This way, you can get a Kali Linux VMware virtual machine up and running within a few seconds and with much less effort than installing it manually using an ISO image of Kali Linux. Select pre-built virtual machine and the choose architecture of your machine. The download is now started. The image size is around 2 GB and downloading time will depends upon your network speed. We have successfully downloaded the Kali VMware image. To import the Kali Linux VMware image to VMware Workstation Pro, you must know the file system location where VMware Workstation Pro saves virtual machine data on your computer. If you don't know the file system location where VMware Workstation Pro saves the virtual machine data on your computer, open VMware Workstation Pro and click on Edit and the Preferences. You will find the file system location under there. Cut the downloaded image file from download location and paste under VMware file system location. You can create new folder and assign name as per your new Kali Linux virtual machine. Extract the VMware Kali Linux image file using 7-zip or any extractor tool. You can move the extracted files or complete folder to path, from where you can locate the files from VMware Workstation in next step. Open VMware Workstation Pro and click on File and then Scan for Virtual Machines. Browse and define the path where you move the extracted files. The Kali Linux VMware image should be listed in the Virtual Machines to Add section. The Kali Linux VMware image should be imported to VMware Workstation Pro as a virtual machine. Before starting the Kali Linux virtual machine, you should update the virtual machine and change some settings depending on your requirements. Newer VMware Workstation Pro version supports OpenGL 4.13D acceleration for Linux virtual machines. To get the best performance and improve the graphical user interface responsiveness, you should upgrade the Kali Linux virtual machine to the latest VMware Workstation Pro compatibility mode. To do that, open the Kali Linux virtual machine you've just imported and click on Upgrade this virtual machine. Select Latest Workstation from the Hardware Compatibility drop-down menu and click on Next. Select Alter this virtual machine and click on Next. The Kali Linux virtual machine should be upgraded to the latest VMware Workstation Pro compatibility mode. To change the hardware of the Kali Linux virtual machine, click on Edit Virtual Machine setting. From the Hardware, Memory section, you can increase or decrease the amount of memory RAM you want to allocate for the Kali Linux virtual machine. From the Hardware, Processors section, you can configure the number of processors and the number of cores to allocate for each of the processors for the Kali Linux virtual machine.
From the hardware, display section, check the Accelerate 3D Graphics checkbox to enable 3D acceleration for the Kali Linux Virtual Machine. You can also select the amount of graphics memory you want for the Kali Linux Virtual Machine from the Graphics Memory drop-down menu as marked in the screenshot below. Once you're done, click on OK to save settings. You can also decide if you want to keep NAT connection or change to bridge. Now, the Kali Linux Virtual Machine should be ready to start. You should see the Grub Boot menu of Kali Linux in the Virtual Machine. It means that the Virtual Machine is correctly booting Kali Linux. Shortly, you will be prompted for the login username and password. The default login username is Kali, and the password is also Kali. Type in the default login username and password and click on Login. You should be logged into the Kali Linux virtual machine, and the Kali Linux desktop environment should be loaded. Thanks for your time. I hope this video was informative. Please like and subscribe to support our channel.